Hello my crafty peeps, it's Cheyenne from PixieCrafter.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and artist and your creative coach. Um, feel free to shop my online store 24-7, the link is in the description bar below. If you have any current Stamping Up products that you would like to see me demonstrate or a specific technique you would like to see, go ahead and leave a comment and I will see what I can do to accommodate you. Alright, today we've got Tips and Techniques Tuesday. It's been a while since I've done one of these, um, but I was, was kind of feeling like a little blocked creatively, so I thought that I would show you a way to kind of get your creativity going, or at least be in your craft room doing something to, uh, to, make, to kind of pre-make pieces so that when you are feeling creative, you've got some pieces that are ready to go that you can add to your your project as you're going. All right, so I don't know about you, but I always end up with scraps of paper from as I'm cutting and trimming and matting and everything. And inevitably, you're going to end up with like these little skinny bits. And you're like, well, what do I do with these? Well, we're just going to make quick little sentiment bits out of them so that you have all of these sentiments going and you can just grab them and pop it on the card or scrapbook or whatever you're working on and go. So I've just grabbed some of my stamp sets with sentiments on them that I think would work and would be cute. So here we've got the um, Lift Me Up. So lots of fun little sentiments there. Got Bookcase Builder. I love these sentiments for scrapbooking. Jar of Love. Lots of fun little ways that you can use the sentiments in this set. Got some nice ones here in Eastern Beauty. I'm thinking more about like the smaller ones that would work and then we've got cool treats again there are plenty more stamp sets that you can choose from and just use whatever sentiments that you have you know as long as they will actually fit on these little pieces of scrap all right so what do you do what inks do you use um, well I kind of feel like if you're going to do something that you're not quite sure what it's going to go on you can't go wrong with doing black or white. So for your black, the Archival Basic Black or the Memento Tuxedo Black are good options. What are the differences between these? Um, they are essentially kind of the same thing. They're both meant to be long lasting. Um, they're both supposed to be kind of waterproof, water resistant. I find that the Archival isn't as bleed and smudge proof as I would like so I do like my memento for anything where I'm going to be doing some watercoloring or uh, a whole lot of like stuff like that you know even sometimes with the markers I find that this is better this is a fat fade resistant dye ink it's also um, pretty quick drying but it doesn't dry so fast that you can't quickly put on a clear embossing powder over the top and get a nice little raised image from that. Um, the archival is nice. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I prefer this one if there's going to be any sort of watercolor or inking over the top. But whatever you wish. And then for like these darker card stocks, you go with white. So there is the Craft Stampin' Pad in Whisper White. Or, if you really want a bold image, you're just going to heat emboss with some white embossing powder. I do prefer the embossing powder when working with dark colors. The, the Whisper White's good, but it's, it's not going to be as solid of an image. It's going to be more of a, a faded look, and if that's what you're going for, fantastic. But since we're working with sentiments, kind of feel like having a nice crisp image is going to work out for the best. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm also going to go ahead, actually we'll go ahead and use the Archival Basic Black since I'm not planning on doing any watercoloring over these. Actually, no, I'll do some inking stuff with uh, at least one so we will have that memento out. Alright, let's see. First thing first. Let's see what we have in this birthday or cool treats. So lots of fun things. Let's go ahead and do let's see lots of fun things. Happiest birthday. Or I'm I'm kind of drawn to the you're the cherry to my Sunday. So that is one that is calling to me. Can you hear it call? Alright, so we will just get that onto a block and I'm gonna use this piece here. And I'm not gonna worry too much about 
the outside of it. I can stamp that later. And yeah, let's go ahead and actually, this one's going to be fun. This is going to be a little bit of advanced technique. I'm seeing it form in my head right now. So let's just go ahead and actually, we're going to pull in our silicone sheet here to protect our work surface. All right, so I've got my embossing buddy down. And now I'm going to go ahead and ink up with Versamark. This is the, the basics of heat embossing. Oop, did you see that flip right out? That was a, that was a good stamp, good stamp. All right, now let's get our clear, not clear, you could use clear on this technique, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on the white. There we go, and we're gonna heat emboss this real quick. So you wanna go ahead and get your heat tool heating up a little bit, you get it nice and warm before you bring it to your project and then you're going to notice uh, bigger differences. Your paper's not going to warp as much. So sweet. All right, now let's go ahead. Wave it around like you just don't care to kind of cool it off a little bit. Make sure that embossing powder melt is all set. And now I'm just going to go ahead and trim this up a little bit. There we go. That's a good size. I love my stamp and trimmer. Those of you who have been watching my videos for a while know how much I really love this guy we're still off a little bit must start with straight line then can cut another straight line it's one of those catch 22s you can't cut a straight line if you don't have a straight line to start with right So there we go, we've got a nice trimmed piece here. So, all right, what do you do now? Because it's white on white. Well, this is what you're gonna do. You are gonna go ahead and pick a color. And I think, let's see, do I, I think I'm gonna pick a couple colors. Let's do a little bit of a, an ombre going on. So let's get Melon Mambo and Powder Pink because for some reason, it's, it's speaking to me. So now I'm going to get my little Stampin' Sponges here, or at least one of them. I don't have any going for the, there we go, Melon Mambo. Um, the new in colors yet, I have to do that. I have to get more sponges, so I'm just going to rip a piece. It is an unassigned bit of sponge, so now, you ready for this magic to happen? Just gonna ink up our sponge, and we're just going to ink blend over the top of this. You could also use a sponge brayer or sponge dauber. And just have fun. You can build this up as much or as little as you want. Melon Mambo is such a good color that I think I want it to be nice and good. This is also fun if you're using the uh, Frozen Treats Framelits. If you want to go ahead and do some red, white, and blue like ombre bits and then cut them out to make uh, bomb pops, that would be pretty awesome, don't you think? All right, now here's our powder pink. We're just gonna do the same thing, but down here at the bottom. Blend it right up.
All right, so now you can see there's a nice little ombre. Now all you have to do is kind of take a cloth or a paper towel and just go over the embossing to make that pop again. There we go. It's coming through now. And there you go. You have a nice, fun little sentiment that you can just, it's all ready to go. You can just pop it onto whatever. Maybe even do some, let's see, nope, I don't think they actually have the cherry stamp on this one. I'm not seeing it, but they do have, oof, this little guy, this little cherry framelit that you can go ahead and cut out and pop on there if you want. So, all right. Thing number one that you can do with your stamps. Let's bring you out a little bit wider now. Um, with your scraps and making sentiment pieces. So let's, let's pull out a few more here. All right, since we are on the roll with heat embossing, let's go ahead and do some more of that. So let's get out our black, because this is a good one. And you know, let's go ahead and use this one. I like doing strips yeah um, so this is I hope your day is as sweet as you are so I like just doing like little strips and then cutting them out so let's go ahead and do some of that so I need a different block to fit this stamp all right let's get our embossing buddy very important at this stage of the game and we're gonna just go ahead and stamp this. You could stamp it a few times if you wanted to. Alright, so I've got that one. Let me see if there's any others while I'm here that I can use. Let's go with the You Light Up My Life. Oh, there's a whole bunch from here. Bless Your Heart. Best Fishes. What is this one? You fill me with happiness. Oh, so many from this one that throw kindness. I don't know. About, don't know about that one. And life feels empty without you. I think these are all good ones. Now, don't worry about the uh, the Versamark. It will stay wet for quite some time. So now I'm just going to. There we go. It's not a whole lot of fun. Now you got this strip with all kinds of different colors going on. Well, not different colors, different sentiments. And you just cut them down to whatever size you think is going to work. I just like them to be pretty tight to it. Scissors might be best for that side. All right, so here are our little black, white, heat embossed little sentiments. A lot of fun there. So now let's move on to the next one, which is more basic, which is taking like your very vanilla and your 
your whisper white scraps and you're just going to stamp on them so let's go ahead and grab the bookcase builder and ooh, peel it off now this is thank you for being my friend and let's just go ahead and get some memento on here and actually let's use very vanilla for this and I'm just going to plan on using this entire bit actually no here we go here's a skinnier one sometimes you got to play a little bit yeah there we go go thank you for being my friend I'm pretty sure I can get two of these out of this strip all right now if I wanted to this is the memento so if I am quick enough I can pop on some clear embossing powder and heat embosses and it'll give it a nice little raised shiny look to it but I'm just going to keep it as is now this is something where you can also do the ink blending technique. So you can go ahead and customize the color of this to whatever your project is going to be. So that's lots of fun. And because it's the Memento, I'm not worried about it getting wibbly wobbly or anything like that. All right, I'm going to cut this one off to the side a little bit because you can then banner that little piece. Now you can banner it with scissors. I have the triple banner punch, so I find I'm lazy a lot of the times, and I don't want to actually try to banner it myself. So I just pop and make a banner. Oop, I was off a little bit on that one. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we got a proper banner. So, and to me, that's just so much easier than using my scissors to try to do it so all right we've got two of those let's pull out our basic black and get some more things stamped All right, and here we have these little guys. Aren't they just wonderful? I didn't know we were making memories. I just thought we were having fun. Today's little moments become tomorrow's precious memories. I love those ones. So there's more little sentiment tags and bits that we can just go ahead and pop onto our projects. All right, let's try out another stamp set. All right, here we're going to use our archival basic black on a piece of island indigo as you can do this as well it will show up so and these are sentiments from the um, lift me up stamp set I love the the stamp set and the coordinating um, framelits thinlets they're just pretty awesome Oh, there we go. You can see how this can be pretty simple. It's something where it's like, ah, I feel crafty, but I have no idea what to do. And you can just do this and just make up a whole bunch of these, and then you have them ready to go. And maybe as you're crafting, it'll get your creative juices flowing, and then you're like, oh my God, this is what I want to do. And then you can start your project and just have fun with it. All right, so there's a couple like that, and I think I think you get the idea now, and I think this video is going to go on long enough, so we are going to go ahead and call it a successful Tips and Techniques Tuesday, 
you have all of this fun stuff to do and then you can see like you can even like can you imagine making just like an entire card front with all of these like sentiments and stuff on it like that would be fun right like they're they're all going together and as long as you have like the right colors like that that could be a nice fun little card front there hey see the creative juices they have started to a flow so or even just like a you know just like a word bubble and then like have your little picture on a scrapbook page and ta-da now oh, all right that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you liked what you saw please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're already a subscriber thank you so much i appreciate you supporting my endeavors um, remember a full list of the products I use can be found in the description bar below along with links to uh, pixiecrafter.com and my Stamping Up online store. Head on over to pixiecrafter.com. You can sign up for my monthly newsletter. You can also, if you are a, a U.S. resident, you can sign up for my birthday club. So fill out the information and I will send you a handmade birthday card from me in your birthday month. It's my way of saying thank you and showing my appreciation for you guys. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And that is it for today. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.